Welcome to 321 Photoshop. I'm Julianne Cost. Did you know that you can make flames in Photoshop in four easy steps? Check it out. First, open a new document and just fill the background with black. Then, for flexibility, create a new layer to put the flame on. Third, you'll want to create the path and the shape that you want to create the flame. I'll select the ellipse tool, make sure that it's set to path, click and drag out the ellipse, making sure that I'm leaving room in case I want the flame to expand beyond the shape. Then all I need to do is choose Filter, Render, and Flame. There are so many cool options. You can start with just one flame along a path or choose from any of these different options. We can change the length of each flame as well as randomize the length. We can increase the width. We can change the angle and we can also change the interval. We can even use a custom color if we want to. I'll increase the quality to fine to get the best results, move to advanced, increase the turbulence of the flame as well as the jag. I'll also increase the complexity of the flame lines and I could change the bottom of the flame, the alignment along the path if needed. I'll change the flame style as well as the flame shape and then choose whether to randomize the shapes or toggle that off and change the arrangement. If I like these settings, I can always save a preset, but for now, I'll just render the flame. Of course, this is just one example of flames. Here I have another document with eight different examples of the kinds of flames you can make. These are all single flames, but you can also stack them on top of one another and create these cool combination of flames. In fact, you can grab the pen tool and draw any path that you want to and then render the flame along that path. 